And there's a lot going on in the world of Python on hardware. Yay, it's Python time! Yeah, there's a lot. Um, Never so running out of stuff to do. The challenge right now is picking the highlights and the things that we talk about as Python moves to all sorts of different platforms. And what I like is there's a big community of people doing things. It's not just us. Yeah. I mean, it would be cool if it was just us too, but like, I like that there's more people doing yeah. things. It's a sharing thing. And speaking of um, coming together and sharing and doing neat stuff, uh, DigiKey and Adafruit are going to PyCon. Coming soon. Yeah, wow. The team's going. This was just 60 days ago, and yeah. now it's like It's almost here. Two weeks. You'll see Dan Katniss got there, and every participant, every attendee there at PyCon 2019 gets a DigiKey Adafruit PyCon edition. There are special treats on it. And uh, we just shipped Well, how do you know that that's actually going to happen now? Well, I, we know because here's the tester. Oh, we have like video? Yeah, we have a video. Um, Trevor, who usually works on our iOS development, um, he used to work in uh, Fab, and so he volunteered to help. And uh, since we just released a video together, here's okay with me filming the process. And this is just one, not six at a time that we do. So here's. Uh, yeah, we made a lot. I, I did that just for this video, just show one at a time. So here you can see that goes in the tester. Goes down, you reset the tester, yep. you reset the circuit playground, and what it's doing is there's an SD card holder, it's burning in, <laughs> and you tap your fingers, it's burning in the SPI flash, um, one page at a time, and it's burning in goodies, like we're giving away a free uh, book right, on yeah. the flash my, my memory. Book is on there. And, then, and it's got uh, code with it too. Yeah, so we did a lot of these, um, I shipped them out, the tracking number, I watch a lot because it's uh, $80,000 worth of Circuit Playground expressions. So there, there's a lot of them. So um, thank but you. But they're making their way there. Yeah. So thank you, DigiKey. Thank you, PyCon. And then um, say hi to the team that's out there, and you'll see um, more PyCon news on our site and our blog and our newsletter. All right. Um, Circuit Python snakes its way to 2600 Magazine. I get to Yay. say it snakes every, its way. Every there. quarter we, <laughs> yeah. we write an article, and this this time we wrote an article about Circuit Python or yeah. Quest Library and how easy it is to do IoT. So spring issue. With Python, check it out. If you see this um, magazine, pick it up. It's also digital form. And speaking of, Hackspace Magazine came out. Space, that was a good timing because we just put a um, satellite board at circuitpython.org. Kick sat, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, Max had sent that to us, so he took some photos of it. But now it's a space issue. Um, they reviewed Pi Portal 9 out of 10. Yay. And the verdict is it's the easiest to use IoT out there. So we like that. Another surprise, um, there were six pages all together, first steps at CircuitPython. So Ben did an amazing job on this article with yeah, all the different boards and different Our boards, things. also SparkFun has yeah. CircuitPython boards, and you can use... Uh, MicroPython with the ESP8066, yeah. so he's got that there. So this is really neat. And then uh, Sophie was in Hackspace, and congratulations, Sophie. I said this in the Discord chat um, on the new book. Um, we'll be posting about that shortly in the newsletter, and I have a bunch of posts that'll be going up um, in Hackspace. Um, other things, this was in the Sophie category this week. Um, saw this on Twitter. This is a uh, bare conductive and circuit python and I think maybe it's a trinket in there. Yeah, a small like a trinket, but it's yeah. what it's a prop from what is it like a Indiana Jones movie or something? I think I don't so. Know, yeah. Sophie's in chat. She'll, she'll it's t- cool. She'll tell us what this is. All right. Um, and that, okay. I don't know why props. Yeah. Other things because there's a lot of the um, Pi portals out there now. There's a lot of air quality projects. We're seeing more folks doing because it's such an easy to use display entity, you just happen to use Python, you can do things like get blood uh, Yeah, this is a... Blood glucose. For continuous uh, monitors, you can um, get the data and upload it to the internet, like, continuously to uh, monitor your blood glucose, which is, you know, if you track something, um, you can improve on it. Um, something that you, you say a lot. Mm-hmm. So, um, for this project, just having it always display red, yellow, or green to let you know how your blood sugar is doing... Um, you can quickly learn your patterns to help regulate your blood sugar and keep it in a good spot. Yeah. By the way, this was uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Okay, so it's as close. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, next, this is a Pi Portal for monitoring other things. So there is an uh, alarm a, controller, yeah. a Pi Hole. Um, this is the weather. And then there's the um, alarms 
for waking up. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. This is all in one monitoring platform. Yeah. Then uh, people are getting their Twitter accounts mm -hmm. on their five portals. There's also um, some uh, seeing more games for the. Uh, we're going to have yet another version of um, this particular form factor, we think. Well, we're seeing lots of games on it. I think this is Organic yeah, Trail. Organic trail. <laughs> Not Oregon Trail, and but Organic Trail. This is a uh, CircuitPython 3 key, key, keyboard. That's nice. Just straightforward. That's a nice yeah. metal box. This is no um, box. from Cedar Grove. This is a Eurorack. And then this was the video that went along with it. And this is made in CircuitPython. We've got Lisa Juice well. action there. Yeah. Okay. It's a Lisa Juice drawer. Interesting. Then, um, we learned about this loaner program. Yes, this is in Boston, right? This is the Boston. Uh... The loaner program, this one is at uh, teachfirstbyte.org. Oh, cool. So they got a uh, Circuit Playground Express kit, a yeah. Circuit Playground Classic kit. So you could, if you want to teach code.org, uh, CS Discoveries, or Circuit Python, or Arduino, you can borrow these boards. And they're they should be pretty durable, so they'll I hopefully yeah. they'll last. They have the cur their curriculum has Mickey Mickey and Circuit Playground. Oh, they even do lessons. That's nice. Yeah, so you can check out their site oh, and the sweet. locations they have. All right, um, thanks for spite. In other education news, there is a new version of EduBlox, and it has a Circuit Python mode. And here's all the different things you can do with it. Boom. Four Python-based modes: Re um, Raspberry Pi, Python 3, BBC Microbit, Circuit Python. And it's a drag and drop block environment for learning core Python 3 directly from the browser, works on PC, Mac, Linux, and iOS. And you can make the uh, scripts right there and drag it over to your Circuit Playground Express. So this is really neat. Yeah. Another block system that helps people. I like EduBlox because oh. it's straight from Python. It's one to the other. Yeah. Very easy to learn. All right, Help Wanted. This one's different. So we have a native for jobs board, but this one was the first Help Wanted I saw on Instagram because they, they tagged Circuit Python, and they want someone to use Circuit Python specifically for this um, thing they're working on. I think it looks like it's for WeWork. It's like a plant. Yeah, and it says "Do what you love," and it has a little WeWork logo. So they're looking for a, a Circuit Python dev. So that's okay, well, neat. looks like it's got some new pixel action going yeah, they, on there. They got a good start to it. And then, yeah, it's at WeWork, and maybe they can you can do more with it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. And then next up. Are we done yet? No. No. There's still more news. Next week is yeah the April twenty ninth is the this, birthday is the sixth birthday of MicroPython since the first line of code was written, That's which right. is how we're gonna call it the birthday. I mean, it was born. That's right. Okay, so we're we gonna celebrate. What are we gonna do? We can get cake. Um, we'll probably post up a lot of things about MicroPython. We had already sent a note over to Damien, the creator of MicroPython, and we'll probably have. Uh, anything that's from MicroPython, um, we'll probably do a sale or something. Yeah, we we'll stock all out. the MicroPython stuff. It's a good time to pick up a yep. Pi Board D. And other things that came up in the world of MicroPython. So if you want to make the... Add on board. Not the shields. I think they're calling mm -hmm. them tiles. Yeah. Um, you'll be able to uh, look at the schematic and the source and the... Yeah, they use this like Curiosity that. connector where you can connect up to four tiles yeah. using these funky connectors that like bring out like a thousand pins. Okay. Our new site, circuitpython.org. Is rocking and rolling. We, yeah, we have 54 boards all together. You can see some of them. We added another one. Thank you very much, everyone from uh, uh, Electronet Labs. Um, it's the paper board. It's our first e-ink board. So this now shows up in the list of Circuit Yes, Python and I boards. think we just started making the builds for them too. So they will yep. start coming up. So if you have one of these boards, if you have a board that's built on the NRF52840, who doesn't these days? I mean, pretty yeah. much everybody has an or 52 Who hasn't? Who hasn't? Now is a great time to get support into CircuitPython. Um, we have a BLEIO library that you can use. Uh, we have a UF2 bootloader. You know, we've pretty much got the NR52840 covered. So e adding support's really easy. If you're not sure how, open up an issue on our CircuitPython GitHub repo, and we'll tell you all about the process. But yeah. it's not too hard. Uh, if you manage to put together a board, you can definitely put together a pull request. And one of the boards that we put on there, because we have these photos, Scott sent this out. This is uh, the Game Boy cartridge that he's working on that runs CircuitPython, so you can see that in the board um, list at circuitpython.org slash downloads. And we also add a new section. It's not linked anywhere, because I want to put some more boards in there. This is circuitpython.org slash Blinka. If you want to look at it, these are the ones that we have confirmed that run Blinka, which is basically CircuitPython for Linux. And it allows you to run a lot of hardware on 
SBCs, single yes. board computers, in an easy way. And we'd love to have more single board computer support. Yeah. Again, not too tough to add support. The toughest part is detecting which chip it's running on and yeah. then defining the pins, but the rest of it's taken care of for you. Okay. Um, we'll show this off the top secret, but we're still working on our CircuitPython powered gamer. That's the front and back. And you will talk about that. We are making our 4H edition Circuit Playground. So this will be um, Circuit Python running on boards that will specifically go to 4H um, learners out there. Looking forward to that. We did some updates on the Circuit Python README. All of this is in our GitHub.com slash Adafruit slash Awesome dash Circuit Python, but it also gets pulled into the site. And that is the Wonderful world yeah, and I, of Blinka. And, and th those are just some of the top stories. That's the top. Subscribe to the newsletter if you want on. all the details. It's like a book. Yeah, it is. It's a magazine now.